What's up, y'all? Bring you guys another video. So as you guys can see, bring you guys another fight simulation using Fight Night Champion. I know it's an old video game. Uh, the, there hasn't been a new boxing video game in 10 years now. For those who don't know, there's a video game called Esports Boxing Club that will be coming out soon. So keep an eye out for that. But while we're waiting for that, we have to deal with Fight Night Champion. So anyway, this is something that I used to do back in my older channels, uh, specifically the uh, Igor Warrior channel, where I uh, let two computer-controlled fighters, two computer-controlled, let me make that clear, these two are controlled by an AI, by the computer. Let them fight each other, see who wins, and as you guys can see, here we have Mike Tyson and Tyson Fury. I just thought I'd put them up. Obviously, they would have never fought each other in real life. Uh, Tyson Fury of, is of this generation. Mike Tyson is from the previous generation. Well, not even the previous generation. He's from the previous generation before that. But, you know, a lot of people talk about, you know, what ifs. What if Tyson Fury and Mike Tyson did fight? Who would have won? In my opinion, it's hard to tell. Prime Mike Tyson was in the early 90s and the late 80s when he was in his early 20s. You know, towards the late, late part of Mike Tyson's career, he's not the same fighter as he was. Mike Tyson, I mean Tyson Fury, right now he's in his prime, in my opinion. If they were to fight, it would definitely make a make make for a very interesting, entertaining fight, no doubt about it. Especially with the size difference between the two. Tyson Fury, is big, big heavyweight, big heavyweight, and it will be interesting to see how Mike Tyson will land those big, strong punches on him, and how Tyson Fury would take those. In my opinion, if it were a younger Mike Tyson against the Tyson Fury of today, I'd probably lean towards Mike Tyson. But if it's an older Mike Tyson, um, you know, of the same age, around Tyson Fury's age today and early 30s, I'd lean towards Tyson Fury. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoy the fight simulation. Again, this is something I used to do. And, uh, you know, while we wait for eSports Boston Club, I plan to do more of this. Let me know your thoughts. Enjoy the simulation. Thanks for watching. And like always, oh, have a, a great day. Uh, thanks. Zones in on that overhand right. Tyson's putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. So he scores a knockdown in the last round. Now he gets to settle down and gather himself a bit. Do you go after it? Do you get super aggressive here having had your man hurt? Or do you still have to employ a certain amount of caution? Kind of like being at the carnival, you know, you just you just hit the bullseye and you got that big, big stuffed animal you can give to your wife or your girlfriend. But now he doesn't want you to go away with that. Oh no. No, no. no. He tells you, wait a minute, try again. You can trade that in for something either bigger. But you might lose the one you have already. That's the question. Comes right back with some offense of his own. Right hand downstairs. Teddy, I don't think he's got visions of sticking around too long. He's landed power punches early. Yeah, he wants to make it a quick night's work. Banking away a body shot with the right hand. Oh, he is absolutely... A oh! Oh, and he goes down again. The question can he rise up and continue on? One, two, three, four, five. He went down from a big shot. Now he's got to have some big guts to move along. You're going to find out exactly what he's made of. Keep your dis up. Nice, nice. There's the hook. Takes a step back, then the counter punch by Mike Tyson. It's very similar to what you see Floyd Mayweather do. You know, make a miss, pull that shoulder back, and then come right back with the counter. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Lands a big hook. Body shot, left hand. A little head hunting with the right. Unable to score with the uppercut that time. There's that overhand right. Last 10 seconds. How much of a factor is 
his leg strength in getting these power shots off. That's a good point. His leg strength is very important because he's able to really come from down under and really put everything into it. Prince is coming out here after being knocked down in the previous round. How important is it for him to be cautious here, to make sure that he does have his legs underneath him? You know, it's a little bit of a double-edged sword there, Joe, because if you do... Oh, that's got to hurt. Well, we've seen Mike Tyson in a spot like this before. Remember, he once rose up off the canvas against Buster Douglas, only to be floored again. Can he do it here? Tyson's rising back up. That takes some guts. You got this one. That is a classic Tyson uppercut. Come on. Prince's jab can do so much there. He used it well that time. And now he scores with that left to the body. Tyson able to land a big shot. Mike Tyson's banged by an uppercut. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. What a big shot just above that belt line. So right from the start in this fight, he's committed to the body shots. Well, that's the time to go there right at the beginning because body work pays off for you later in the fight. No sense in wasting time. Get right to it. Nice solid left hand scored by Prince. Ten seconds to go in this third round. Tyson's putting on a show through three rounds. Start of round four. He's up two rounds to one according to your scorecard, but as we've seen, this is a little bit of an elevator fight. Both men have been up and down. Yeah, and that's good for him because he knows where he's strong and he knows where he's vulnerable and he knows where to go and where not to go. Scores up top with a left. That right hand over the top lands flush. Left to the body. Little head hunting never hurt, does it with the hook. Mike Tyson digs deep with a big uppercut. Wow, what a right hand he just got caught by. Did you see that? And once again, he goes down. The question is, can he rise up again? Mike Tyson rises up after going down here today. What an uppercut by Prince. Let it go. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. You're doing fine. You're okay. Right to the head with that right. And that's the end of round four. Tyson's corner has to keep him calm. That's the kind of cut that can send a fighter into fix. Yeah, and a corner man into using crazy glue instead of adrenaline. I mean, that is a scary cut, as you just said. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. He takes a shot, 
but comes back with a crushing power punch. Well done by Prince. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counterpunching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make him miss, make him pay. Right on the mark with the hook up top. Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. A minute and a half to go. You see him zeroing in with that left hand to the body. That's a big uppercut that just crashed home. like the great pitcher, great Maddox. His sinker ball. Boy, it went down quick. One, two, three, four, five, six. The ref stops the fight. Prince is unable to get up and continue on. Ladies and gentlemen, by way of knockouts, your winner. That's what you want to see, a guy who can close the show and finish with style. He ends up a knockout victor tonight. And that's what his trainer wanted. His trainer was even telling him, step it up a little bit because he knew this was possible, and they got it. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great night.